Hey T Squad, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well as you're watching this video. So today I'm showing you how I made some um, oven roasted butter squash and then I seared some salmon and just added that on the top. So if you want to call it a salmon butter squash boat, I don't even know what to call it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you, huge thank you to um, the returning family members as well as our new subscribers. I appreciate all the love. So, with that being said, let me get out of the way and let's get started with this video. Bye! Mwah. So, um, I have my squash here. I've already cut it in half and I went in with a spoon and I've scooped out the seeds as well as the flesh. So this is what it's looking like. So now I'm going to go in with some, um, I just happen to have some sunflower slash um, olive oil here. So now I'm going to brush each side with some of this olive oil. I'll just use some of this from here. And I have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. And so we're going to bake this um, with the cut side, with the, the skin, the flesh side face down until it's like nice and um, tender. And the flesh is able to be removed with a fork. All right, so now the two seasonings I'm going to use, I'm just gonna use some simple black pepper and salt. And then I just have some pink Himalayan salt right here. I'm just going to use my brush again just to get that mixed all in. Okay, so now as I said, I'm just going to turn these face down and pop them in the oven. And then I'll come back in once I'm ready to take them out. Okay, so right here I have two um, filet salmon. So I'm gonna drizzle this with the same oil. And I'm seasoning it with some Mrs. Dash seasoning blend. I'm also going to just add a small amount of salt, just a small amount. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with some black pepper. And currently in this pan, well you can't see the pan, just shed in the pan. On the pan I have um, about two to three tablespoons of this oil, olive oil heating up. Okay, so that's nice and mixed. All right, so I'm gonna move that off to the side for now. And right here, I have half a um, diced onion. So I'm just going to pan y'all up some over here. So here's my pan already heated. So I'm just gonna add these onions to it and sauté potatoes. Let these onions sauté for about two or three minutes until they translucent. my flame down some. So I have it on like a medium flame. Let's 
Okay, so now to the same pan, I'm actually going to move these onions off to one side and let them cook. And so I'm going to add in my the salmon to this pan. And I'm going to do skin side first. And we're going to let these cook for about two to three minutes per side. And then a little closer. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm also going to remove our squash because our squash is pretty much done. So I'm going to take that out and move that back. Okay, let's bring these out. Here's our squash. We got a lot going on. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to flip these over. Okay, so that's what they're looking like. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, I forgot, I forgot one minute and put my hand on the pan, but luckily I just burned myself. So yeah, this is our squash. So now I'm gonna take this fork. So I'm just gonna use one fork to hold this and then I have this big fork and then I'm gonna shred it. You almost want like a spaghetti type texture. It's nice and tender. Easy, the fork is just gliding right through there. This one broke up, so. Alright. And that's how that looks. Stir my onions. You can see what's going on. probably do since I lost my skin because unfortunately my pan is not a non-stick so you can see the skin came up so I'm going to allow it to cook for a few minutes on this side and I'll flip it back over to let this part cook some more 
But right now I'm gonna take out my onions and I'm going to add them inside my squash bowl. And if you want, you can also add them on the top as well of your um, fish once you take it out. Then I'm just gonna mix that together. Okay, so this is how the squash looks with the the onions in them. And then at this point, you can even taste it, taste the squash to see if you want to add more seasonings to it. That's what I'm going to do. Mmm. Wow. That tastes good. The texture almost reminds me of, honestly, like, um, yams. I'm just going to add just a tad bit more salt, just a little bit to it, but other than that, mwah, perfect. So the fish, this is what's going on with our fish. So I'm going to allow this to cook a couple of more minutes and then um, we'll turn this off and then I'll add this to um, my squash boat. All right, then, so our salmon is done. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, so our salmon squash bolts. Yes, so, um, family, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm going to scoop some out so you can see. So that's what it looks like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm mm. Yeah. Wow, it's so good. Oh man. Alright family, so that's um 
that's the end of this video. We're going to um, wrap this up. I hope you have enjoyed it. But next time, like I said, I have to, um, next time I do this, I'm going to cook it in my non-stick pan because I ended up losing my skin, you know, in the end. But it's okay. It still tastes wonderful. But yeah, so fam, if you try this recipe, tag me on Instagram. Um, add a post on uh, the community tab on our channel. And uh, that's, that concludes this video. So I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, comment below. And I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Take it easy. And stay positive. We all in this together. Alright? See you on the next video. Bye.